Hi guys, okay, so there's something called Siren Head. Um, I've been seeing it trending, so we're gonna react to this video of course. I was requested Siren Head, the create the words of creation, the creation Siren Head. It's some alien or something, I'm not sure. We're gonna see what it's about. Let's let's see what they go. What is this crack in the earth? It's about time. Been wondering if you were gonna wake up at all. Where are they? Where? Where am I? How did I get here? Hmm. I imagine the same way I did. Him. What's with all the bones? That means they're gonna die right. just now. I guess I never considered it had a gender. <laughs> it was always just this thing, this monster. Name's Charlotte. And if it's any consolation, I'm sorry your luck has brought you here. Hmm. My name's Jackson. Same to you. What's your story? What's the you story? You already know about the Siren Ed. Have you had run-ins with him before? What? You could say that. You took my mom. Ooh. It looked like his puzzle. Ducky! Run away! Run away! I'll admit I've never fully recovered. I mean, I went after the guy with just an axe and a shotgun. How nutty must I have been? Every night for years, when I laid my head down, hmm. it wasn't the swaying of the wheat or the chirp of the crickets I heard. It was the distorted, muffled voice of my mother speaking to me. Oh, wow. It was Siren Head. Wow. That all sounds really rough. Y yes, it I is. I know you probably heard it from everyone close to you. Hmm. It isn't your fault, Jackson. Oh, I know it isn't my fault. It's Siren his. Head fault, now yes. tell me. How did you find yourself down here? Hmm. Mine might not be as tragic as yours, but it is complicated, to oh, say boy. the least. In my former life, I was a doctor. Your well, former life? How long have you been in hell? Be you mean your former life? When it all began, I was simply a resident under the tutelage of the master hmm. surgeon, Dr. Vincent master Anderson. Master surgeon. God, I respect that man. Hmm. Uh, he has no a small he can fix, big or small. Man, if he wasn't set on fixing everything he could. Hmm. Luckily, I felt the same way. I thought the two of us could change the world. Big I would have followed him to the end of the earth. Oh, my. Sometimes okay, then. Marry him, then. like I did. Marry him? About two years into my residency, he became extremely focused on philanthropic aid. We started taking trips to hospitals in more impoverished areas, mm. volunteering entire weekends that's at good. a time. That's, that's he kept actually pushing good. me harder, saying that we needed to do more. It was our civic duty. Mm -hmm. I was constantly exhausted. I couldn't catch a break. If it was anybody else, I would have given up and found a new surgeon to study under, but he was so inspiring. Ooh. I pushed through so <laughs> much exhaustion and pain for him and for the people we were helping. Invariably, there were patients that we could do nothing for. Either we were too late or they were too sick. And over to time, I started to become saying. accustomed to death, as yeah. most doctors do. But Vincent took it hard every single time. He said it felt like he personally failed them. Oh. One night, we were closing up his practice, and he pulled a bottle of gin out of his desk drawer. Told me I could stay for a drink if I'd like. The and doctor is stressed. As the night went on, he got more and more distraught, going on his usual tirade, rating himself for not doing enough. Hmm. He said that really? every patient who died in his care was a life that he'd wasted. No, it it's not really your fault. He never said that before. So I tried consoling him, saying that it wasn't up to him what they did with their lives. Then he looked at me intensely and said, Maybe not, but there is something we can do with their deaths. He had me follow him into an exam room at the back of the practice. Something you can do with their deaths? a ceiling storage cabinet aside to reveal a metal door that I'd never seen before. Hmm. What is the, what's going on? Wow. The 
secret room. What's be in the room? What was in there? Yeah, tell us. Come on. The room was a cold storage unit. I like never a mug. About in all my months of working with him, he unlocked it and ushered me inside. I remember the shock mostly and the smell. Just there were four bodies Just laying checking. on metal exam tables covered in thin white sheets. Better. Panic started to rise and every muscle in my body was ready to run, but a certain curiosity held me back. He walked to the first body and looked at me before lifting the sheet. It was a Caucasian male, about 40, bloated and extremely pale. So wouldn't they notice the body missing? and sewn shut again and there were pins sticking into his scalp. There was a speaker in his mouth, stretching his lips abnormally wide. The second body Vincent uncovered was a Middle Eastern female, no older than 30, who I could tell had been beautiful what? before she was hacked up. The third one was very thin, probably someone who suffered from anorexia. She was definitely less bloated than the others, but that could have been because the body was fresher. Hmm. At this point, my mind was spinning and it felt hard to breathe. Oh, I don't really showed any emotion at all. Yeah, but he knew the body is here, so he would not be. He did hesitate slightly before oh, revealing the last one. body, though. Oh. I couldn't tell what it had been. The entire head had been removed. Instead of a neck, there was a metal pole sticking out from between the shoulders, and mounted on top of it was a large cone shaped what? speaker. More like a megaphone or a siren than a speaker, really. The body was completely Sorry. emaciated. The skin was leathery, oh. almost like it had been mummified. I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> this long-winded speech of yours really is well funny creating this monster. That's all it is, isn't it? There's more to it, really. We. 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 What do you mean? We. we. Just listen. Right after he showed me all of that, he explained the project to me. He needed help, he said. The two of us were doing all that we could, but it wasn't enough. There was still what? enormous what suffering, doing? even within our immediate Let community. Let the dead stay dead. Through this loss of life, he said he could build something useful. Bodies to help aid us, if he could reanimate them. This was going to be his greatest achievement. Uh, uh, and what he is that type thing? From he said he was very Stan? close to finishing the project, and he was sure his next one would work. But the operation would be delicate and lengthy. He needed me. So what? You're in love with this guy? And you just do anything he asks? You know? It... it was complicated. <sighs> I didn't say yes. She did say it was complicated from I the beginning. I time to think it over, which he agreed to. Hmm. I knew it was disrespectful to the people whose bodies he used. I knew it was unnatural. Seriously, kid, I was torn about it. I couldn't sleep at Did she just call him kid? My devotion to him and my belief in his work were pitted against this grotesque and extremely illegal project. Hmm. But he procured a body just a couple days later, and when he called on me to step up, I, I just couldn't refuse. Procured a body? Jesus, procured did you don't mean... never ask where he got them from? Yeah! Of course I did. I had a lot of questions. So many that I thought he would accuse me of prying and throw me out of his office. Or maybe even kill you. But he was always patient. Because and if you were to talk, he might kill you. With the same calm logic he used that first night. The bodies were from a colleague of his. Hmm. With the number of people that he helped, he'd won a ridiculous amount of favors and trust in the community. And why the speakers? Why? Yeah, uh, the muscles speaker. used to create speech are much harder to control than muscles in your arms or legs. These things didn't need to talk much, but if they were going to interact with our patients, they need to speak a little. So the speakers were easier than trying to get their mouths to work. What? Well, we only accomplished that once. On him. I wasn't even in the room for that part. He asked me to step out, but the rest of the operation was grueling. Prepping the body took nearly 20 hours. Oh, and we no. had to remove the head, attach the sirens, string wires around, graft muscle onto metal, cover the really gross looking parts with extra skin. What the like heck? An installation it's like a Frankenstein. We pumped that body full of steroids, had it attached to huge monitors, used electric charges. It was so This guy is weird. I had no idea how he came up with these techniques. You could even call him that. Hmm. So I was right. You made it. 
You were part of it, now she didn't make it. Both did. I felt conflicted Wait, what? the entire time, but once the thing came to life, you have to understand, I thought this would only lead to good things, less suffering. I was proud Wait. to some extent. At first it seemed oh. to go really well. We would give it simple commands and it would listen. We just kept him in his office doing little tasks under supervision. Then, I think, Vincent went back and worked on him a little more without me. He started growing. And by all laws of logic, that shouldn't have happened. Hmm. He wasn't truly, really. Alive, alive, exactly. At least at first. He became more violent and hard to control. And one day he just broke through the wall of the office and oh ran boy. off. We tracked him down to this wooded area. And it wasn't hard. <laughs> he created this path of destruction wherever he went. Hmm. It wasn't anything like he does now, though. He was only about 10 feet tall at the time. You are quite a I found him. He was blundering around in circles and spouting nonsense from his sirens. He seemed confused, honestly. Of course, it's confused. But he static and he or it wanted to be Vincent dead, and you guys brought it back. To him, but he it's not sure what to do. Didn't understand us anymore, or didn't care what we were saying. Eventually, Vincent decided he was a lost cause and wanted to try again with a sixth body. Really? But by that point, I was thoroughly you try again? horrified at what our creation had become. I told him I was out. I couldn't continue the project anymore. And I've spent all my years since then tracking Siren Head, trying to figure out how to undo my mistake. Hmm. Milo, there you are. Oh, shit. Good boy, Milo. What? What's the dog? Do you have any idea what grief you've brought people? It's not I her lost fault. my whole family. Oh because gosh. Of this thing. Who knows what it's done to other people in the 12 years since then? Hmm. You think I haven't thought about that? So where are they? I don't understand. Trying to make up for what I did. How could you create something you had no control over? It wasn't her, she assisted. We did. I don't know what Vincent did to it after that first operation. That's what made us lose control. Hmm. Sounds like you're trying to tell yourself you're not to blame. Like you weren't responsible for everything it's done. Oh gosh. No, that's not She's true gonna What you why did you Oh gosh? <laughs> oh It's him? Please, you have to help me! I don't think so. Oh gosh. You killed my mother. She, she did not do. Oh, oh my gosh. For, wait, wait, wait. You mean I've been sitting long for this? Thanks for oh watching gosh, the video. I fought. We are super excited to continue our siren. I story. can't believe I sit like down for 14 channel, minutes. Check out our merch store oh. at newspapro.com. We also have this a Patreon story. page that comes with all kinds of sweet perks. Wow. If you want to see your name on this list, check out the Patreon link in the description below. Ooh, nice. It's Chuko, Michael, Matthew, Pumpkin Pyromaniac, <laughs> Rio, That Sex, Fun Guy, Blake, Dylan, Scorpion, Illy, and Martin are our top supporters this week. Nice. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you all next week for a very highly requested SCP. SCP. Thank you guys for requesting this one. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, guys. If you want me to react, leave a comment below, okay? Thank you. Bye, guys.